there guys happy thursday man wednesday it's it seemed like it came quickly this week but also like eh, as always i'm ready for the week to be over <laughs> wednesday is like the midpoint of the week so it's the time when i start to really think about what i want to get done over the weekend and sort of looking ahead to what events i have and what i need to be doing and what projects i can sort of focus on um and so i'm really kind of missing my weekly layout weekly to-do list where I had um, I, I've been using before like last month I was using the Alistair method um, which basically you have columns for different time periods or categories or whatever it was originally designed um, by a guy named Alistair hence the I don't remember his last name um, but as a future log for the bullet journal so you would have 1 through 12 along the top and then you would put the event on the right column and then you'd put the circle or dot or whatever um, under the column of the month that the event was in so that way instead of having to set aside you know a third of your page for stuff in december if you only have one thing that happens in december it's only using one line and then maybe a whole bunch of stuff happens in march and so you can use like a whole section of the page for that um and you can do things in the wrong order and it's fine so it works great for the future log. It also works really well, I think, for a weekly to-do list because you just put Monday through Sunday or however you do your weeks along the top. Okay, let me actually see. Here's my August insert. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, this has gotten kind of banged up. This is a weekly to-do list that I made for the... 14th through 20th of August. Um, so I have Monday through Sunday along the top and then an extra column for um, things that were getting migrated. And so I would just put my general to-do list here and as I assigned it to a day, I would move it over to one of these columns. So it kind of helped me to be able to schedule things in advance without creating the daily in advance. Because in previous months, I had just done one page per day I think I was doing that even in the early here. So I would set up like all of my dailies for the whole week. Um, and then if I had something that I was like, I want to get all that done on Friday, I would put it on Friday. But with this Alistair method, you can just put the dot on Friday and not set up Friday until you get there. Um, so you don't have to like set aside space. Same, same idea. You don't have to set aside space. All of that is to say, um, in this basic like original writer carol video setup that I've got going it doesn't um, have a weekly layout at all and so I'm sort of feeling kind of like on Monday I it didn't feel like a Monday for whatever reason and so I didn't have like that context of where I am during the week that kind of helps me decide how to prioritize my tasks so I, I felt kind of adrift for the last few days, but um, but today, Wednesday, things have been really good. Uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I was going to try to power through a bunch of the things on my to-do list here. And I did get, I think, just about everything done that I could do in a short amount of time. Um, and I felt really good about that because now I only have four, five, six, seven... Um, and then the, these two I wrote down today. So only seven things left and I got a bunch of these done yesterday. Anyway, not counting that. Um, so the to-do list is getting shorter so that allows me to focus on my projects. So that is good. Uh, let's go ahead and set up my Thursday daily and see what I can focus on on Thursday. It'll be the 21st. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna to try to ramble and talk and write at the same time um, in order to not fast forward through any of today's video and make it longer because I think people <laughs> seem to like my longer videos and these have been really short for the last few days. So ramble, ramble, ramble. Start with events. Way back to the first page. Uh, Thursday, that's not an event, but it says paint nails. I do, I wanna paint my nails tomorrow. Um, I'll go ahead and put that first. It's a priority. They look fine, but this white, like it's getting some dirt and because I didn't cap the tips and you don't care. All right. But I'm going to paint my nails again. 
And so that's that page. Then we turn to the next unclipped page. That's my tracker. I've sort of been filling that out throughout the day. Um, videos, yes. I'm going to work on this one and this one and this one. And this, yeah, I'm working on a lot of them, but like on Friday, I think. And see, I have no way to put that. And so that information, work on these projects on Friday, doesn't have a place to go. And so I'm not really sure what to do with that. Besides just sort of remembering it and as I keep saying in this book that I'm reading you're not supposed to have things that you're supposed to do in your brain you're supposed to have them written down somewhere so you're not thinking about them anyway uh, I did read a chapter today I can do this tomorrow YNAB which if you're not familiar with the software is the you need a budget software and mint is a website run by Intuit that syncs all of your different accounts and so I just make sure that all of everything matches. Good good GT Gooding Things Done Chapter 8. No, chapter 9. G T D Chapter 9 because I'm still trying to read one chapter a day to power through this. I got this project finished today, so I was able to cross that off. Um I'm going to work on one task for this project. This is something I'm doing for my Hogwarts. And let's see. And ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, right. And don't think I'm ready for. Maybe I'll do that on Friday and then work on filming. Not filming. Over the weekend. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that I, I kind of want to dedicate my evening to getting my nails painted. So I don't want to bulk things up too much besides that. Uh, I do have one of another of my um, second chance sale packages coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to be filming a little bit of an unboxing for that. And then the bulk of everything else I've ordered recently is coming on Friday. So looks like Friday is going to be busy. In the meantime, I am going to do this task. This is proofread. Um, today I did my, you know, editing of, sorry, today I did the editing of my lesson for uh, my Hogwarts astronomy. Uh, and I had to do like a pretty extensive rewrite because I'm changing the structure of this year's lessons. And so I want to go through and like proofread it and make sure everything makes sense before publishing it. I like to sleep on stuff and give it fresh perspective. Um, here's a simple thing I can do. Um, as part of that, I actually created a math problem and I want to double check that I got the answer correctly for my own records. So I'm going to ask Gino to try math prob. If he gets the same answer I did, then that's good. All right. And then, yes, I didn't do my Instagram today. Um, as you'll see, I am at the bottom of this to-do list, so I am turning to another page already. I put the first task here in code, partly because I just learned how to do ciphers and I thought it was fun, and partly because it's for something that someone who might be watching this video has something to do with, but that's all I'm saying. Uh, this is Amazon, but it might also mean Walmart. We'll see. I'll just put shopping because that should be enough of a reminder that I have a shopping list up here and most of the stuff can be picked up at Amazon some of it maybe Walmart so I may maybe I'll do both um, but there's stuff stuff we need to pick up um, and like I said I think that's pretty much it I'm mostly working on projects um, yeah I mean maybe I'll maybe I'll add this task here in case I have time. Um, try to encourage myself to get it done. It's not important. And so if it doesn't get done, it doesn't matter. And so I'm not going to mark, mark this as migrated to Thursday because if I don't get it done, I just, it'll be fine. I'll just cross it off and it'll still be on the list. 
And that, I think, is good. I hope that the rambling was something that you appreciated, or at least the length of the video. Um, if not, I'll probably go back to fast forwarding again tomorrow because that's just easier to be able to think and not talk while writing. But um, thank you guys for sticking around and for watching these videos. Be sure to subscribe so that you will see tomorrow's and like the video if you enjoy my rambling. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.